Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I've got some PSVR2 news for you all. This article originally came from Bloomberg.com but because they've got a paywall I haven't been able to read the full thing. However, we've got the headlines and we've got uh, VideoGameChronicle.com. They must have got the paywall. They must be subscribing to Bloomberg. So we'll just piggyback off them. I'll put the source of this in the description below if you want to read it yourself. But basically, as you can see in the title here, PSVR 2 mass production has reportedly started with 2 million units planned for launch. And there's an important point, a subheading here underneath. It took eight, eight months for the first PSVR to reach 1 million in sales. So the fact that Sony are aiming for 2 million at launch indicates that maybe, you know, they're going balls to the wall for so Let's read some interesting stuff. If we can, this is from Chris Scullion. So Sony plans to release 2 million PSVR 2 headsets during the new headset launch period, it's been claimed. So Bloomberg reports that the manufacturer plans to have 2 million units ready by March 2023. So might not mean us exactly, but I think this could be a hint that the release for PSVR 2 will be in March 2023, not guaranteed, but the fact that they specify March has kind of like pricked up my ears a little bit, so I'm kind of thinking maybe that's when we can expect to see the PSVR 2 launching sometime in March next year. Suggesting it expects PSVR 2 to sell faster than its predecessor, and let's hope it does. If it doesn't, you know, PSVR in general, the brand, the future of PSVR, PSVR 3 could be in trouble if this does not sell better than PSVR 1. So according to Bloomberg sources, mass production of PSVR 2 headsets started last month and has reportedly not been affected by supply chain constraints. Excellent news. It is reportedly planned that the ongoing shortages of PS5 consoles is expected to be somewhat improved by early 2023, with Sony hoping the PSVR 2 release will spur on sales of both the headset and the console. And then the article goes into other kind of tangential stuff that we already know about. It's old news about PSVR basically, you know, 20 launch games expected and whatnot. So that's it for this video. I thought it was interesting. I thought maybe the March 2023 could be pointing towards a launch date. I think the fact that 2 million units that they're hoping to move somewhere in that launch period is promising. Hopefully they're seeing things, they're seeing metrics, they're seeing interest levels rise in virtual reality. Or they're like super confident in what they can achieve. They're really excited about what they're going to be giving us. Either way, it's all looking good. And of course, 2 million units points to perhaps, you know, maybe it being a bit easier for us to get our hands on one of these compared to the PS5. Unless, of course, scalpers go out there in their droves with their bots and whatnot. Hopefully, we won't be all fighting with each other tooth and nail to get our hands on one of these. If you want to keep up to date on PSVR 2 and its games like Firewall Ultra, for example, then stick around this channel. Consider hitting that subscribe button wherever the wherever it is down there. And before I end this video, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out, Decepticon.com. Link to him in the description below also. That's it for this video, lads and ladies. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay nice and moist.